right. Mount short, short porch wig popper. Hey everyone, back out here with another senior review, and this time we're swinging the Balanced Short Porch Wig Popper. Uh, bat here is a 28 ounce, and it actually weighs 27.1 ounces, but more on that later. Um, today was the first time I was able to get outside. St. Louis is typically hit or miss weather-wise in March, uh, and we were graced with a 70 plus degree weather day. The downside was it was blowing 15 miles an hour, almost straight out to right field. Good for me being left-handed, but bad for the fact that we can't really get a good gauge of how good this bat really is when it's so windy. Um, that said, I was able to tell when it was the bat being great and when it was me getting benefit of the wind. But it was good. Um, felt good to swing, felt good to be outside this year. Um, and I gotta say, this bat is pretty dang hot. I like the stiffer barrel compared to the Suncoast Melee 3 that I usually game. The handle had a touch of flex, although it doesn't really bother me that much. It's really just a feedback issue. But compared to that Suncoast, I think the Suncoast gets through the zone a little bit better, even though it's a balanced bat and is a touch stiffer on the handle. But I could definitely see myself gaming this. I think I may go down an ounce. As odd as that sounds, because this is a 28 ounce, but that weighs 27. I find it very frustrating, and this may be a rant for Jesse's podcast, but I find it very frustrating that these bats don't weigh what they say they weigh. Just as an example between these two bats that I mentioned, this one weighs 27.1. It's 18 on the end, 10 on the hands. That doesn't scream balance to me, but the Suncoast I have is also labeled a 28 ounce, but it weighs 26.9. Uh, it's 16 on the end, and I think 10 and a half ish on the hands. So it's percentage wise more balanced than the wig popper, but it's significantly lighter than this one. So I know brand to brand is going to be different, but that's a little bit frustrating. You can see at the end of the video, I kind of get frustrated about it again. But I weighed all the bats that I have, I'm weighing them the same. Every bat is under sticker. I just, I don't know, it befuddles me. But anyway. Um, I definitely recommend this bat. Uh, it's great. I was a bit worried that it was going to have paint issues like the, the hat trick that we swung earlier this year, or sorry, last year, but it didn't. I think that's because this is paint and not a, a decal uh, like this the hat trick was, but it's good. I, I definitely want to get out and swing it again without the wind issues, but so far, I really think this is a winner. You can see that these the trees out there in center and right field are probably 10 to 15 feet in the air. I was clearing them easy um, with the wind. Um, I think I would have done so without it. There is a street that runs back there. One of them I could see was able to clear the trees and land on that street. That's a good 20 feet past the fence, maybe a little bit more. So that's quite a shot even with the wind. So yeah, I recommend it. More to come. Talk to you guys again. Eight ounce, but it weighs twenty-seven point one on the scale. Eighteen on the hand, ten on the hands. It's not balanced. Uh, more about sticker weights coming soon because it says twenty-eight should weigh twenty-eight. This is a twenty-eight. It weighs twenty-six point nine. Figure it out. <laughs>